Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at everything that's going to be added inside of the update that is two days away in Build a Boat for Treasure. We got a bunch of items returning into the game for a limited time. And if you have a lot of gold, now might be the chance to spend some of it to stock up on these limited time items. We're going to be going over every single item that's going to be coming to the game, everything that's going to be new, also the free day, the rewards which are going to be added. We're going to be going over everything. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe turn on that notification bell we're not going to waste any more time let's hop straight into this so basically this update is going to drop on july 1st at like i believe it's going to be like 3 a.m pacific time and 6 a.m eastern time is usually when this update does roll out the times may have changed but it is going to be out on july 1st that's when the game is set to automatically update every single year with this july summer update and you may be wondering what exactly is going to be added what's going to be returning to the show so let's first hop straight into everything that's going to be said. So number one, every time you load in to build a boat for treasure, it is going to be nighttime every single time you load in. And it's going to be nighttime for, I believe, six days at the start of July. So every time you load in and build a boat for treasure, it's going to be set to nighttime. And you're probably wondering, why is it going to be set to nighttime? And that is because they are adding fireworks back to the game for a limited time. So first things first, when you do spawn in to build a boat for treasure, there's going to be this crate of fireworks that spawns in when you load into the new update now this crate of fireworks is going to refresh every single day with free fireworks in it every single time so you guys can see right here uh there's the crate of fireworks which you'll get into if you just literally walk up to them you get them absolutely for free it has these cool little sparklers with them as well i wish they would add the sparklers as an actual item to the game i feel like that'd honestly be pretty cool but you do get three free fireworks every single day you load into build a boat for treasure so it's kind of like a cool little daily reward system for a certain amount of time but then again the fireworks are not that expensive and I think it's only like a hundred gold for three of them so you're basically getting a hundred free gold uh, every time you load in the build a boat if you think about it that way I guess now, as I mentioned with the items that are going to be returning back to the shop they do bring back all the types of fireworks except for one type okay so you guys can see right here that uh, there's four types of fireworks we have like the ones with the stripe here we got like the ones with the polka dots and all these have different like effects so each one of these fireworks it has different uh, like firework particle effects which will go over all of them here in just a second so it's 100 gold and you get three in a pack and you guys can see right there this is the first day of the update it says it's going to be on sale for six more days so i think it's like in total like seven full days and like six i don't really know exactly it's six or seven days so like i said if you have a lot of gold saved up then you guys want to buy some limited time items this might be the time because this is usually when fireworks are only added to the shop they sometimes return them during like the july or january 1st update sometimes they've brought them back on like new year's and stuff when other times where you launch fireworks but other than that this is the number one time to stock up on them as much as you can all right so let's actually test out these fireworks and take a first look at them before they get added to the shop once again just so that way you guys can see uh which one you actually want to end up buying or if you want to buy all of them you can buy all of them so there's all these fireworks here and there's also this classic firework which you can still technically get inside of the game for free by redeeming the chill thrill 709 was here code that code is still active and you're still able to get this old firework right there and you guys can see that firework is probably the most basic out of all of them it does look pretty cool but uh it really it's probably the most boring particle there is okay these four other fireworks actually got reworked and have way different uh particles on them so you guys can see this one right here that one's gonna launch up there and you guys can see right there that was actually pretty cool okay like this one has really really cool effects on it in my opinion and if we launch it up again you guys can see right there well bam and well bam and i believe you can actually color these things as well so if i go ahead and color them let's see if it actually yeah you guys can see right there i think it did at least hold on let's try it with a different firework here so this one is the ring firework so if we launch this one up it's going to make a, a ring like that all right i thought it did it did, made somewhat of like a ring shape so that's the one which these do all right so let's try to color these ones and see if we get anything so let's do like red uh blue and green here so let's launch the green one we definitely will see that one. Oh yeah you guys can see right there yeah you definitely can change the color particles let's do blue and red all right um yeah i guess you could yeah i guess it technically does change all right so this one i actually forgot which uh these next two ones do so this one's a yellow with polka dots on it let's go ahead and launch that one right there and okay that one just has like a bunch of smaller fireworks inside of it and i honestly guys like the the particle sound effects and the particles itself look really really awesome so let's paint these a bunch of different colors here let's just go crazy with it um and just launch all these up here all right look at that look at that that is 
is so awesome. Let's launch these two here. And uh, yeah, so those are those effects right there for that one. And now we're left with the ones with the stripe. So the ones with the stripe here, I honestly forgot what this one does as well, but let's go ahead and launch it. I think this one like crackles. Nope, never mind. I guess it doesn't. Okay, so that one literally just goes like straight up. <laughs> That's pretty much all it does. Let's try to launch a bunch of these at once and just see what happens here. All right, let's launch a bunch and look up. Yeah, so it just makes like, you know, a normal generic firework. It does look pretty cool though. Um, and by the way, guys, these fireworks are going to show up way better at night on nighttime. So if we actually switch it to daytime here, you guys can see the difference when you actually launch these. You can still see it, but it's not nearly as much uh, and as cool when you do it at night. So they're going to be returning all those fireworks right there to the game. And uh, we've also seen inside of Pasta, like July updates like these, uh, uh, that they have actually updated the secret room that's on a pink team. So the room behind the waterfall, we've seen that update as well. I'm not saying that it will inside this update, but... It is possible because we have seen it in previous updates and on top of that as i mentioned um they also sometimes might update an item like for example those fireworks did get updated in one update so uh sometimes they may add some extra things and sometimes they may not i believe last year all we got was just the fireworks returning to the game and that might be the same case this year or maybe not they might add something else i really don't know but this update is literally about two days away when you guys are watching this video so i would start to grind as much gold as i possibly could get right now just so that way you have gold and you're prepared to buy these in bulk if you want to if not i'd save your gold for a potential christmas update so you can get neon blocks but uh if you guys are a collector of items inside of build a boat and you have not actually claimed uh, the fireworks yet i would go ahead and do so at least buy you know at least like spend like 100 gold or 300 gold and buy all of them uh but they don't appear in any of the chests at all they only are inside of the shop for a certain amount of time and then after that they're going to be gone after the six days but when this update does drop i am going to spend all of my gold on a bunch of fireworks and we're gonna launch off like probably thousands of these fireworks all at once like literally we're gonna connect them all to a button and we're gonna launch them off in celebration of the new update so yeah all in all guys here's a summary of the update there's going to be a crate that's going to give you daily rewards that you can claim every single day you can't claim them more than once a day so make sure you guys load in the build boat claim your free fireworks also there's going to be fireworks added to the shop for a certain amount of time and on top of that the uh, daytime is always going to be set to nighttime so every time you load in the build a boat for treasure it is going to be nighttime every single time so if you want to change it just go back to your settings turn it daytime and it's back to normal but this will only be active for six days inside of build a boat for treasure and if there is any other update secrets or any other things that get added i will be sure to let you guys know about it so make sure you guys stay tuned and also be sure to like the video and subscribe because i'll make a video as soon as the update does drop going over everything if there's anything new all the returning items everything you guys need to know so make sure you guys stay tuned drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys all inside the next one peace out and goodbye so i'm starting to post more on my second roblox channel so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to it i'm starting to post some tower defense videos on roblox so if you guys are fans of tower defense games in general i'm gonna start posting variety tower defense videos on this channel so make sure you guys go over to it and subscribe see you guys all later peace out and goodbye